Hey guys, what's up? Here we go. Today we got this little light here, this XP-22 Scorpion. A very unique light that we have the opportunity to look at today. So let's unbox it, check it out, and uh, just kind of talk about it for a little bit. Alright, let's do it. Alright, so I'm going to butcher the name of this company, but I believe it's Brinite, or Brinite, B-R-I-N-Y-T-E, right? That's the folks right there. Wow, the lights really, I'm used to my lights being a little further. I change things up, so I might have to zoom in, but that's the company. Anyway, let's open this thing up, and while I open it up, we will do our little disclaimer. They did send this, right? I did not buy this. They sent this light out. Um, they asked me if I was willing to do a review, so we're going to do a review. Um, this is interesting, though. When I saw this, I was like, wow. That's unique. It's very unique. It's the XP-22 Scorpion, right? And now that I'm actually looking at it, that's a fitting name because that kind of looks like a scorpion, right? Where you have like the claws out the front and stuff. Um, this is all that it is, right? There's no other pressure switches, pressure pads, different things, whatever. It comes with um, a magnetic charger, right? So you're not going to plug in a USB-C or a Whatever other kind of thing, it's a little magnetic charger that's going to stick on here, right? Um, this side is uh, USB. And it also has your instruction manuals and stuff that's going to come with it as well. When you get it, it's going to be in the locked out position, which a lot of light companies are going to do that. So you're going to press the button on the back, press it down, and hold it for five seconds. And then after five seconds, the light should come on. So there we go. Um, it doesn't have a bunch of random modes and everything. You basically have your on and if you double tap it, you'll get your strobe, right? It, if you just click it real quick, it's going to stay on. Click it off, it's going to stay off. There's no high, low settings. It just kind of is what it is. According to them, it's about 400 lumens, um, which is decent for a little thing like this. I mean, back in the day, 60 lumens, 65 lumens was tactical, so 400 lumens should be, should be good. One thing I'm intrigued about this is since you have two heads, right? You have two heads that give off light. When you point this at the wall, I think even you can see that. There's no two distinct bulbs. They converge, and they actually converge very well and make one one unison hotspot. And if I point this across the room, it does the same thing. So my thinking is this could potentially be a really cool deal to have on a firearm that has like a suppressor or something because you could potentially eliminate a lot of that like scope shadow kind of thing or suppressor shadow. Um, so we'll mount it up on here and just kind of see. Um, before we do, it does have, you see right, maybe down in here. Yeah, I, I didn't think about my lights being a little bit off back there. But yeah, here, we'll hold it like this. There you go, you can see it. I'll just have to zoom in. Uh, but you have this little block right here that's going to sit inside the Picatinny uh, section, keep it from moving around. But also your locking piece, it's spring-loaded. So that's nice. It makes it easy to take on, take off. And then you can use your thumb to tighten it down so it doesn't, you know, work its way off. So we'll just stick this guy up here in the front. I think that would be the best position for it. Just tighten it down, give it a little squeeze with their little fingers. All right, get that down. It's nice, it's kind of a squared off knob. Makes it easy to adjust with your hand, right? So that guy's on there. So now, moment of truth. Yeah, well, weird. Okay, never mind. You kind of end up with two scope shadows or two suppressor shadows, in a way, kind of. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's kind of a shadow right here and kind of a shadow right here, but still you have a nice hot spot in the middle. That That's for sure. Um, interesting, interesting. So. Again, it just has this one little pressure point, right? I mean, you could easily bump it and go into strobe if you if you weren't really being careful. If you're just doing like quick peaks and whatnot and stuff, no, you'd be fine. I think you'd be fine. Uh, but it, it, it is easy to put it on that strobe. I'm not a particular big strobe guy. That's not my feng shui. It's not really what I like. But, uh, but it's unique. This whole thing is very unique. So... I don't know. I'm going to have to play around with it a little bit and kind of see how he rolls, see how he works. Um, in all reality, though, it doesn't click. If you listen, we'll push the button. It doesn't click. There are some lights out there that have little buttons like this that, I mean, if you did have night vision, if you were trying to use this in a serious situation and everything was quiet and everything was dark, and again, like if you had night vision and if your light was an IR light, and you had a group of guys going through someplace and you hear a bunch of clickety click 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 as they're pushing their lights on pushing them off whatever that'd be so dumb it'd be so dumb so those lights are obviously they're never going to work for anything for real this is interesting 
um, because it doesn't have that click. Now, whether or not this guy is going to be quote unquote duty proof, which is a made up term that people like to use nowadays, um, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be worthy of that. We'll just have to put it to the test and see. Um, I know when this guy came in, he's not 100% charged, so I'm going to have to charge it up a little bit better. Um, I'll step outside later, hopefully tonight, and actually get some outdoor footage of this because it is unique. It is different. I've never had a light like this. See, I accidentally hit that strobe again. I've never had a light like this. You can kind of see how that double scope shadow thing's going on um, or suppressor shadow. It's, it's interesting. You can kind of see it on there. It's interesting. See how it shines on there? Um, if you were to take the suppressor off, right, then you wouldn't have any of that at all. No, you'd have none of that. It'd be great, right? It'd be fine. But anyway, that's a quick little look at this guy. Uh, we'll run over some specs. I'll probably just throw them up on the screen for you, and then I'll read them off real quick. But basically on high, which, I mean, it doesn't have a high and a low. So if it's fully charged, you're going to get 70 minutes, which is pretty decent, a little over an hour. If you have it on strobe, you're going to have 100 minutes. That makes sense. Um, let's see, max intensity is 13,250 candela, that's pretty good. Um, impact resistant, one meter, so I guess we can drop it up to a meter, that's nice. And then uh, the water protection levels is IP66. I really need to research some of that stuff some, because I'm not exactly sure what that means, but I think we can dump, dunk it underwater if we need to. Uh, beam distance 230 meters, and then it gives you some dimensions and factoids there. So that's basically your information. That's basic information of it. A very unique, a very interesting design. Something that I don't think I've ever really seen as far as like a two-headed light. It's, it is very unique, it is very different than, like I just said, stuff that I've seen before. And Scorpion is a fitting name, because it actually does kind of look like a scorpion. So anyway guys, that's a quick little look at this guy. Um, I was sent this, right, so if you need to read between the lines on what I say and stuff, you go right ahead, but as always, we give an honest overview of these things, right? When people send us stuff, it, it allows me not to have to defend a purchase and say, wow, I spent XYZ dollars on this. I gotta make it look good so that, you know, I can feel better about myself for, for buying it. I don't have to do that. They sent it to me. I don't even know what the guy costs right now. Um, I'm not sure we can throw stuff up there on there, on the screen and stuff. I'm not sure if we can. If we can, we can. If not, then there hopefully will be a link to one of these things down below if you wanted to check it out and see how much they cost and stuff. So anyway, guys, I'm not trying to sell it. It's no skin off my nose what you do. Um, I'm just giving out information. So there you go. Something to check out, something interesting, something different, something kind of unique, kind of cool. I think it's kind of cool. All right. Let me know what you guys think. Is this interesting or is this too much? Move on to the next thing. Let me know. All right. That's it. You guys be good. Be safe. Appreciate you watching, subscribing, and everything, and hopefully we'll catch you in the next video. See you.